Hey everyone, in the previous video I show you how to create a new project in Firebase and host it with the hosting service. On today's video we'll take a look how we can link the Cloud Firestore database to your front-end React application and create new record through a React form. First of all, we will start our project by typing npm start then we will access the project by clicking go to console and selecting the project after that we will choose project settings and copy the command npm install firebase to the terminal that will allow us to initialize Firebase in our project. After it finish, we will create a new file called firebase.js in which we will include the firebase configuration to use the SDK we will copy the configuration and now in order to use Firestore API in our code, we have to import get Firestore and create a new constant called db that take get Firestore and app. Then we will come back to the Firebase dashboard to create a new database. We click create database. Right now, we'll keep the database ID and location to the default. We press next. Then we press create. Right now, we have a new database in Firestore. We go to rules because in our case we will use the database in a public way with no authentication. That's why we have to change allow read and drive if false to true. Then we will go back to VS Code. Now we'll create the form.js component under the views folder. I'm going to paste the code for a simple form that include a name, email, phone number and a message. Then we will create the route for that form in the file index.js by calling route from react router dom the route take two argument the path which is slash form and the component name which is form in our case now we have to import use state so typically when a user want to type something in an input field in react we want to keep a track of what a user type in 
and put it in a some kind of state property. We're gonna do that now. When the user type the information, we're gonna store that in a local state using the hook use state. So we will get an array with two value. We'll say const then square bracket. The first one called first name the initial value that's gonna be an empty string. Then set first name for the function to change that value equal to use state. This one gonna be for the first input. We will do the same thing to the other input, the last name, email, phone number, and message. We want to attach to the first input a value property equal to first name. That means whatever is in the state to begin with when we first load the page, obviously gonna be nothing. Then we want to track what the user type by saying on change. Whatever they type something in, this fire a function. It's gonna be an inline function, an arrow function that take the event. So what we want to do inside this function is to store what a user type in. We just say set first name and passing the value, the event object that the target that value. That's gonna take that value in this moment and apply it to the state. For validation, I did use pattern. That means you can only type from 3 to 20 lowercase letter or it's gonna fire an error message. We will do the same thing to the other input, the last name, email, phone number, and message. Now we want to make an API call when someone submit the form. And we detect that by using on submit equal to our API call function that called also on submit. const on submit equal to an arrow function and we're gonna make this arrow function asynchronous cause we're gonna use API call so actually there are a few methods that we can use to write new data in Firestore database in this video we're gonna see add doc that we get from Firestore to add a document the first thing I like to do is to write E dot prevent default just to prevent the default action of the form when we submit a form and that's to refresh the page we don't want that to happen so we're stopping that right here so we have to import add doc and collection from Firestore also we have to import the database handler from Firebase file Add doc take two argument, the collection reference and the actual data. The collection take also two argument, the database handler imported from the Firebase file and the name of the collection, which is users in our case. And we have our data from the state, which are first name, last name, email, phone and message. Now we're gonna update our input's value to empty string again. We save the changes. 
Obviously, we get this error message because we didn't export the database from the Firebase file. Now I'm gonna fill and submit the form. We can see the error message when we type less than three letter. Then we press add add user. When we go back to Firestore database, we can see our new user created. I hope that you like the video. Thank you for watching.